And today we're going to do a little bit of fishing with some lures we made. And about those lures, we did a technique called makume gane. It's basically stacking different types of metal all together, heating them up and smashing them down so you get a really cool patterning. And for that, we used a bunch of quarters. So it's something that's affordable, literally. It's about $10 worth of quarters. And uh, I think they came out pretty cool. So enjoy the video and we'll see you back here on the boat. We are back here in the metal area of Narwhal Labs. And before we start, I just want to talk about what makame gane is. It's an old Japanese technique of joining two metals to uh, make it look like wood grain. Makume gane roughly translates to metal grain wood. Traditionally, they used copper and nickel or copper and silver or any combination of those materials. But today we are going to use these quarters. I broke my piggy bank and grabbed all the quarters I could from my house today. And before you start yelling at me, it is not illegal to deface coin currency in America. I read it online and as we know, everything you read is true. So let me read this really quick. It is not illegal to melt, form, destroy, or otherwise modify US coins, including pennies, unless the object is to fraudulently or with intent of selling raw materials of the coins to profit. So we are good in that department. No need to leave a comment down below saying it's illegal to destroy currency. I did my research, it's not. So come over here to the whiteboard where I've already illustrated the three lures that I'm going to try to replicate. So these two, we're going to try to copy some lures that we purchased at a bait shop right down the road from Narwhal. We're gonna use the form of the traditional kind of lure just to see if, you know, if those work, if I can form one out of Makamegane. Technically, that should work too. And I think we have enough quarters to make a third one, which I'm gonna call the Masturbator 5000. And what is that, you ask? Well, I'm gonna to try to make it so it's hinged in the middle. So when I'm reeling it in, it's gonna kind of look like it's swimming. Will it catch a fish? I have no idea. And that's kind of the fun part of this project right now. I'm gonna make three and we're gonna go tomorrow. We're gonna go fishing and hopefully we're gonna catch something. If not, we're gonna look really good doing it. So right now, the first step of the process is to stack the quarters and TIG weld them together. So after that, we can put them in the forge and squish them down. So let's start welding. I forgot to tell you over at the table, before you start welding these quarters, we're washing them in acetone to get off all the oils and dirt and any particular that might set the welding off improperly. So let them, uh, let them soak in acetone for, I don't know, a couple minutes. Just make sure they're clean and then we'll stack them and get to it. So as we wait for the forge to heat up, if you look down here, I just uh, kind of traced the two lures that we bought to kind of have a, a, a visual reference point for when we flatten out the metal and then lengthen it, just so we know what we're working with. So uh, let's start smashing. Blacksmithing now done. Uh, they may not look so fancy to the to the untrained eye, but right now they're shaped up accordingly to the uh, the kind of outlines of the actual lures that we purchased. So the next thing we have to do is go to the grinder, grind them to shape, and then uh, put the hardware on them. But right now I'm gonna go grind some, and Andrew's going to help me um, scallop like this lure right here. 
as you can see, it's it's a little bit scalloped on the uh, on the bottom side. So with this one, we've we've curved it. And Andrew, I'm going to give this to Andrew, and he's going to take a Dremel and scallop out the middle part. So hopefully it swims like an actual fish. And then I'm going to shape this one and then stipple it and give it a nice texture here. And this is the almighty Masturbator 5000. So with this one, I'm going to cut and then uh, add some hardware so it swivels. So it hopefully looks like an injured fish or turtle or dolphin. I don't know. But hopefully it looks like something that a fish wants to eat. And then we're going to go fishing after we do all that stuff. So let's get grinding. Sanding and shaping is done. Right now, if you can see, this store-bought lure is stippled, so it's nice and textured. So I'm gonna use this uh, center punch here. I'm just gonna bump, 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 to uh, stipple a bunch of little dots on this thing, and then we'll polish it up, put the hardware on there, and go fishing. are the three lures we ended up making. Um, these two, as we can see in this B-roll right here, are replicas of store-bought lures that we uh, we went to uh, Lucky's. If they're feeding on, on on a pogey, on a small peanut bunker, then you gotta go with something that imitates that peanut bunker. Mm -hmm. They also have another one that's more of a spoon. I don't have any at the moment. It's called a crocodile. You know, New York and Connecticut thing. Right over here, this is called an Albi snack. Garlic is a great scent. There's no garlic in the ocean. You know sharks pee through their skin. This is Massive. the deadly dick, very popular. Mm -hmm. This one was a cheap $3 lure, and this one was a little more expensive, had the uh, stippling there. Super reflective, and uh, hopefully they work. And then this is the special one that I just kind of, we had extra coins, so decided to make a swivel fish. And uh, I think we renamed it to the Caster Baiter. 5,000 and uh, we're gonna do a swim test with this thing and see if it actually swims like a little uh, minnow or something and hopefully uh, this catches a fish so I don't know by the end of the uh, end of the day hopefully this uh, ship is full of fish and then we can go feed we shall harvest the ocean we shall harvest the ocean mm -hmm. circle of life yeah. so first off let's do a, uh, a swim test with this thing and see how this goes this is the the caster baiter 5000 it's got a good, uh, good. it looks good in the water. And so we're just gonna go try and uh, the, the school just keeps going all around us. So it's a game of numbers really. And if I cast it in the, in the school, I'm bound to hook one sooner or later. We're, 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 I'm going for Marlon. Uh, Andrew, what are you going for? I'm going for some uh, false uh, albacore. Yeah, he's, he's, he's shooting low. I'm, I'm going moonshot and then hopefully maybe somewhere in between. Like a whale, great white, yeah. hammerhead. Sea turtle, dolphin, porpoise, all the marine life. I'll catch a penguin. Oh, if that's a flounder, man, let's pull it in, Jay. Is this GoPro on? Yeah. Oh, hi. Oh yeah, here we go. 
nice and slow. Oh yeah, look at this. Little black sea bass, dude. Bam. <laughs> it works. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Let me get a, a... Look at that guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the caster baiter first cast gets a fish. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, using the, the caster baiter and there's, there's just schools of fish just jumping right there. Oh God, wait. Bam. Yeah, stop, stop. A little later. Fish on. What you got? What you think you got? I don't know. Fish you? Marlin. Aw. Oh, that's a good size. Perfect size sea bass, dude. That's a, that's a thick boy. That is a good one. <laughs> dude, that's really heavy. That's a proper one. That's like definitely a good one. Yeah. Bam. Did the OG lore. That's the biggest one of the day! Bam! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> that is such a Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it was a big fish, I swear. It was like, it was probably what, 20 inches, 30 yeah. inches? Yeah. Easy. That was a big boy. Bam! All right, so today I think was pretty successful. We proved that you could take Makume Gane, a roll of quarters, blacksmith them, forge them, smash them together, shape them, and make some lures. And uh, I think it proved, what, what did we get, like over 20? Oh yeah, we definitely got over 20. We got 20 fish today, and I think that's a pretty uh, successful day out on the water. So I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Fish on! Not, not, I'm just kidding. Just. It would be, oh, oh, actually, no, seaweed, damn it. <laughs>